<laughs> All right, so without further ado, let's hop into Brood Chamber, which is on my screen with me and Jonathan are parting together as usual. So right. you will get a... Um, <clears throat> Dream team. <laughs> you'll get a quest letter telling you to go to Brew Chamber. So it will send you all the way to Desari Palace, right here. And here you see Brood Chamber is right in the smack middle of Desari Palace. And you have to go against the Wailing Archfiend. Archfiend. So as you can see, there's a new accessory, legendary accessory, gloves, and a new costume set and a new psyche, so we'll go through, we'll look over the gloves in a bit, yeah. um, but right now we're just gonna show you the content while we talk over this stuff. Yeah, I'm we're show as, you the as usual, if you guys yeah. have seen this before, we're just gonna kind of run through the dungeon, show you guys a little sneak preview of what looks inside. Um, we don't, uh, always as a reminder, we're using uh, GM characters yep. on our internal server, um, and we're also gonna be using some like GM commands and stuff like that to make it a little smoother. Um, we're not going to be showing off too much boss mechanics or anything like that. I am not wearing my GM weapon, so oh. I'm doing almost no damage. I'm being. I, I'm, I'm always carrying you. I am. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to be fashionable here and using my weapon skin. Yeah, but uh, I'm gonna switch over. Little hint to, to what's to come later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right there you go. Look at that. Very helpful as oh, always. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. That was for a your cool assistance. weapon skin, though, huh? Yeah. It was pretty oh, We're going to go fancy. over that in just a little bit. <laughs> so we are heading into a library where we get attacked by everybody. You know, what always happens. There's always suspicious people in these areas. Yeah, why are there always bad guys in these dungeons? There's why can't we just go to like a happy fun time dungeon and just like... <laughs> like Candy Cloud Park. <laughs> yeah, and just take the loot. <laughs> just dance. Hang out. Yeah. Maybe next time. So yeah, this is going to be the newest Rogue Dungeon. Um, it is, you know, every time we release a new Rogue Dungeon, it's usually going to be, you know, Pretty, pretty much, uh, pretty difficult. Um, I, I do think that Dream Song Theater is actually slightly harder than this dungeon. So if some of you have been struggling with that, don't worry. It's not. It's definitely. I don't think it's a step up. It's. It's probably about parallel. Obviously, you have to still learn the mechanics, especially on hard mode. Um, but it's not too much more difficult than. Uh, it's. It's. It's not like a, a huge step up from Dream Song. Is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, and here's the map for. You'll end. There's going to be one boss here, little mini boss here. Or I think mini boss right here, and then a big boss here, big bad guy. But as you can see, we entered this library, seek with a secret hideout passageway. I always wanted to have like a library with like a false door, like a secret door. Yeah. Just pull a book and. So. Yeah, exactly. Like it, Batman, <laughs> or like you know, when you go to the speakeasies and it's behind a wall. Of, exactly. A fake wall. That's that's what I want. So, yes. here's Nacha. He is pretty pretty incredible looking. It's like. Oh, yeah, it's I'm gonna engage him. Swords. Well, okay. We're gonna use GM commands to kill him. Yes. So, but as you can see, it's kind of like an elf-looking ninja bro. <laughs> elf ninja. <laughs> I think he's rad looking. Look at he it. looks awesome. Look at that. That's that 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 pretty sweet oh. too. That was pretty awesome. Yeah. So here's his room for Nacha. I don't know how. Wait, we just went down like two flights of stairs, and yeah. we're like in this giant room. That doesn't. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I always wonder pretty. when I always wonder whenever like you go into like these dungeons and like in video games, <coughs> it's like okay, obviously it's made to be like cool and for the game, but like someone had to like live here or like walk in here. It's like, <laughs> it's, like some guy's palace and the doors are like eighty times bigger than the person. It's like well, he had to like <laughs> How pry open, open the that? door. How do you open that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a good question, Gray one 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 zero. Is challenge mode going to switch this on the sixth? No. Uh, it's going to remain Dream Song Theater, but in our next update, it will switch to being the uh, new Challenge Dungeon. So, good question about that. That is a good question. Because I don't yes. even think we had that written down. Look at that. Why did, that, why did my GM commands pop up? Go away. <laughs> uh, well, you guys, you can see this is what we do. <laughs> this is our GM command window. Yes. It popped so up when I didn't even ready. do Alt Tab. All right. All Let's right. see. This this place is full of creepy yeah. eggs. Someone's been busy. Look at this. Someone's been busy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Look, I mean, yeah, that would like, take a long time that's to, a lot to of eggs. produce and store that many eggs. Yeah, well, well I'm sure he had Let's fun. just like grab some. I'm pretty hungry. You want to go get some? Get a scramble going. I don't know. I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> 
I don't think I want to do that. Damn. Yeah. Oh, we. What did this do? How did the. What? <laughs> did the kill command kill everything? I, I, I might have uh, <laughs> GM'd a little bit too hard. You GM'd so hard. Oh my gosh. That... Well, I mean, we're here to show off the inside of the dungeon yeah. anyway, so we're just going to go ahead and show. You can just the spawn inside. him back while I show off the dungeon. I could spawn him back, yeah. yeah. You could spawn him back. We won't engage the with GM him anyway. GM is anyways. too powerful, guys. That is so funny. I didn't even know that was a GM command you can use. I didn't know that was going to happen, but. Yeah, so the yeah. red. <laughs> the red portal does not spawn right when you enter. You actually have to jump down into those the yeah. egg room. And you fall all the way down past all the eggs and you try not to die. So I keep that in mind. First so he doesn't murder me. But yeah, um, don't die. <sighs> well, that was uh, unexpected. Yeah, that, that's never been a thing. So here's his room. This is where our, our bat boss man is at. Spawn him, we could show you what he looks like. Well, you saw, you know, teaser oh. in the, the video. And he has even more eggs here. I don't know if this is going to work. You don't think it's okay, gonna work? It oh, it worked. Okay. There you go. All right. Facing the wrong direction. But That's okay. Can. They know he usually faces the right direction. Here you go. So. Yes. Here's the corrupted Prince of Veterex. He has a pretty intense cutscene, so you guys yeah, should definitely good. look forward to seeing that. Um, but yeah, he has a lot of you know fun mechanics. So <laughs> be prepared. Write up your guides like you guys always do after this content comes out. It's super helpful. And I think his, does he have a black tongue sticking out of his mouth? That's, that's kind of How cute. does he like, he has spikes all over his wings, like that's, how does he like lie down? I don't yeah. know, I don't know why I'm thinking about this, but. I don't know. It, just, it seems, it seems inconvenient for life. Well, he's also in a room that's only two flights of stairs <laughs> down, so. Um, he's rad. <laughs> he does look cool. Yeah. Yeah, so obviously this is the new heroic boss. We don't usually, we don't usually kill the last boss. Yeah. Um, Sorry, but I didn't think that the GM command was going to do that, but it did. <laughs> um, so. Oh, I can show off you guys. Uh, show off the gear. Yeah, we'll the, show off what you get for yeah, killing here's him. Here's what you can get from this: the bloodlust set. Oh yeah. Drops from this dungeon. It is pretty, pretty cool. Very vampire. Yeah, very vampire. Yeah. Vampire masquerade. That bat ears. There you go. See it on all. Characters and on the dudes. <laughs> there you go. I think Alpha's saying that. Saying it's that, that, that major character looks scary. <laughs> He's pretty <think>. scary. <laughs> 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 All right, so there you go. The new costume that drops from Brood Chamber, along with the new Imperial gloves and Psyche. Here's the Psyche. It is critical and critical damage to your legendary belts. Yeah, that's a new one, and uh, yeah, I can show off the show some of the new gear. Oh, yeah, you can do it as well if you want. Uh, you can switch over to my screen. I already have yeah. it up. Oh, you already have it up. Okay. Yeah. If you could switch over to his screen, please. Yeah. So the new the new gloves that come from this are uh, Imperial gloves. Um, so you can see here they drop from Brew Chamber, obviously. Um, it's going to be um, <coughs> the new best in slot glove, basically. Um, you can see the stats here. Obviously, this is a seed item. You're going to want to upgrade it with Mal Gloves from Den of the Ancients. Um, I'll do this so you guys see the costs. Uh, you'll be able to do Awakened right away. Um, and uh, let's do the Stage 10 stats first. You'll see it's part of the Imperial Drive set along with the other items listed on here. You guys can see that. Um, it's going to give you um, additional damage, Sky Reach effect, which gives you critical rate, critical damage, a ton actually. And it also has, of course, the, the passive critical damage on it as well. So these are some strong uh, PV gloves, um, and they're going to go along with the Imperial set drive, uh, Imperial drive set. Um, the other item is uh, that you guys have been asking for for a while is the Discordia necklace. Um, so that drops here, and it's used to upgrade Imperial necklace. Previously, you're only able to use the Dream Song necklace to upgrade to Prophecy, uh, but now you can create the Kingmaker PVP necklace here. I will show you guys stage ten here. Um, this is part of the Imperial Oath set, along with Everstorm and Wrathbinger, and this is going to give you, obviously, the PvP stats, um, good for 6v6. Um, let me go on, I show all the way to stage 1, this yeah, Awakens, so, um, yeah, there's no, yeah, I don't think there's a PvP glove at all for Imperial, so I don't think that's coming later, but uh, 
We obviously had this tree show up uh, when we launched uh, Dreamfound Theater, and then now you can upgrade to the other side with PvP with Discordian Necklace, which comes from Brew Chamber. Uh, I think costs are already live, but I'll just do costs just in case if you guys want to see. Um, the cost right there, I'll leave them up right there for a little bit. Uh, I guess I didn't show... Yeah, you want to see the gloves too. I didn't show the, the full of the gloves. Yeah. So I'll go back. So I guess the reinforcement path will be not the first. Yeah. I'll go back to the gloves. Show starting. Shit. <laughs> uh, I'll show uh, until stage 10. And there you go. This is the red, the red crux path on the bottom here, so it's going to be cheaper. Can you buy the gloves from Merchant? Uh, they're talking. What? Which gloves are they talking about? Which gloves are you talking about? Misses the best. Oh, if you're talking about this one, you can buy it from Dragon Trader. Yeah. Okay. It requires the uh, hundred run achievements. So. <clears throat> yes. All right. That cool. Is Brood Chamber. Yeah, so that was pretty quick. It's, yep. it's actually a pretty quick dungeon. Uh, yeah. I don't think it's quite as quick as Dream Song, but it's not, it's not like I said, it's not going to be, not going to be, you know, a, st a super high jump in difficulty, but yeah, definitely got another heroic, heroic dungeon out for you guys. I uh, definitely want to see you guys in here, like I said, Bethany writing the guides and ch challenging Vector X uh, and trying to get his psyche <laughs> and takes, you know, rob him of his jewelry. Rob him of his jewelry. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Nice. So... Another thing that we're uh, that we are going to be doing for the February update uh, for our uh, Prince Dragons update is Blade and Soulmate. So yep. this is the third time technically that we're running Blade and Soulmate, but it's been different every single year. Mm -hmm. it, that's just the name of our Valentine's event. It's been uh, different different uh, content every year. So this year it's going to comprise of two event dungeons. Uh, you can actually check it out on the website right now on bladeandsoul.com. We just posted the uh, event article, so you guys can uh, you know. Look up stuff on there, follow along with us, but we're going to be demonstrating some of the stuff like that. The two event dungeons are going to be, first off, Realm Rift Supply Chain, uh, which Bethany is actually going to be uh, jumping into in just a second. Yep. Um, and uh, we're going to be bringing that back. And the second one is um, Hong Sil's Workshop. Yep. So uh, both, both these are returning, yep. uh, but obviously it's going to be updated um, rewards. Um, the stats have been updated as well for uh, um, Realm Rift Supply Chain, so it's not like the same as last time. Um, but they're both coming back, um, and we think we got some pretty sweet rewards this time around. The orbs in Hong Sol's workshop should be a little less drum, you know, dramatic. <laughs> yeah, last time. Um, <laughs> if you remember, last time. <laughs> if you remember, I think it was actually thanks to the players who actually figured out mm -hmm. that if you un, uh, if you disable quest tracking, um, then you actually have a much better performance in yep. Hong Sol's workshop, and that actually led to us being able to fix that bug. Yep. So appreciate that, and yes. uh, it should be better Good this find. time around. All right. Did you want to hop into F8, or should I just hop in there? Oh yeah, I'm party leader. Sorry about that. Yeah, I was trying to. <laughs> I was like, uh, I don't know what to do. Help me. Uh, yeah, I, think I have to like leave the dungeon real quick. Yeah. No worries. So we're gonna jump in and run with Spike just for a second. <laughs> uh, what, you, what you're gonna want to do uh, is you're gonna get a quest letter yep. called, uh, I believe it's called a Letter from Nowhere. Yep. Um, and you're going to get a, a quest letter to kind of uh, lead you to Roma supply chain. If you guys don't. We're here the last time we ran it, um, or here at the beginning of the game. Yeah. We launched with a dungeon called Black Rim Supply Chain. Um, that's where you first. That's where you first battle for Harn, and um, basically we brought it back last year. Yep, um, last, last year for uh, anniversary. Sec second anniversary. It was yeah. a second anniversary event. Uh, we brought it back um, with updated stats, um, partially you know for the fun, partially for mm -hmm. you know people that that. Didn't participate. Didn't get to do it, yeah. right? They they get to play it, and then other people who um, loved it and you know had like the nostalgia factor. Yep. So let's jump there. there. So this dungeon is only available through F8, and that's why we're joining F8 yep. right now. Um, so yeah, be sure to get your quest letter from your quest journal. <clears throat> yeah. And then be sure to turn it in to the NPC before you enter the dungeon, or else you're not going to get the final reward by defeating Bohran. Um, so that is important to do. Yeah, you're definitely going to want to make sure you grab the daily on the way in. Mm -hmm. So, I'm ready. Ready up. We're going to enter the dungeon. Uh, we're obviously going to run this with only two players and some GM weapons. Same as... <laughs> same... Same as, as usual. Chamber. Yeah. yeah, same as usual. All right. 
Jump17 asks, we can get Popet again. Yes, you can get Popet again. Popet has a chance to spawn from Poharan herself, as well as when you defeat the dungeon. So when you defeat Poharan, the Merchant of Wonders has a 100% chance to spawn, which does have a chance to also have the Po pet, as well as the Tae Jangum pet. Yes. And Tae Jangum pet also has a chance to drop from her as well, Tae Jangum. So. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, if you want to... Uh, I can show the, the quest up on here. If you jump on okay. my screen right now. I'll hop um, inside. So I'm right outside and I've already accepted and turned in the quest letter. I'm going to speak to the NPC here uh, and turn that in. It gives you a rift in the supply chain quest. It's kind of cut off there. And then you can see there's the, some of these new rewards that we'll go over. Um, I think it's going to go over right now while you're loading yeah. in and start clearing stuff. Go for it. So when you clear it, you have the choice. This is the daily, by the way, so you can clear this once a day for this quest. Um, you can clear it more times if you want for additional rewards, which we'll talk about in a second. But for this one, you have a choice of three different chests. This is the Realm Rift Raven chest. Uh, so this is going to give you um, stuff that's that's applicable if you're around like the Raven level of gear, right? So you have a chance of some really rare stuff, but it's going to guarantee you uh, one to two Love Struck coin, which is the event currency. Um, it's going to give you Realm Rift Kalongju and Soju, which are used uh, their buff items for Realm of Supply Chain. It's also going to give you a guaranteed Blackstone. It's also going to give you a chance at some really great stuff, including some really rare pets um, and Sacred Valid Pet Pack, of course. Similarly, we have the Queen Chest. Uh, this is if you're on like the Temple of Oblivion level of gear. Um, it's, you see, it's very similar. Uh, it just has it just has the the materials of uh, that tier of gear instead of Raven. And lastly, we have the Celestial Chest, uh, the highest level chest. Um, you can choose one of e any of these. You don't have to. It's not random. You pick whichever one you want. But as you see, once again, it's going to give you um, rewards relevant for that tier of gear, as well as um, a chance at some really great stuff. Um, but we're going to go over that in just a second. I'm going to accept, and I'm going to jump in to help Bethany. <laughs> All right. I'll just go on in. Yeah, Bethany's starting to clear. You got to switch over to her. I'll just kind of, I'll, I'll, I'll just like lag behind and play phone games while she carries me. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Real sweet. Yeah, so I think one of the things that you're going to notice right away when you get in here, if you see like Bethany's HP, I don't know how much she's got, 9,510. <laughs> Basically yes. what this dungeon does when you're in is it normalizes your stats. Um, not exactly back to what it was back then, obviously he's got this a level 55, but it basically tries to replicate that experience. And you say even though we're using GM weapons, it is overriding our stats. Yeah, it is overriding our stats. So this yeah. is... An accurate yeah, so representation. Is, obviously, it's only two of us, also. Yeah. So this yeah. is going. Yeah. So this is what you guys should be relatively expecting. So it's 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 very so yeah. It's kind of just trying to um, I'm, I'm hiding, um, recreate that experience. Uh, I mean, if you're a pro, you just run past this part. Yeah. And you don't I, actually. I didn't uh, want to risk it. You don't actually <laughs> pull anything, but. But yeah. You can definitely bypass all this stuff. Got to, got to bring back those 2016 strats. <laughs> All right. Will the combat? Ah, sweet. Yes. <laughs> I remember 2016 sitting there waiting for combat to end. <laughs> yes. I mean, I don't. I, I can't guarantee that that won't happen. That it won't. <laughs> but backstab usually works. Yes. All right. So Slashimi is the first boss. Here, so you have to defeat him and his two aides. Yeah, I'm gonna let Bethany engage yep. so I can kill them okay. from afar. So you get killed. There we go. Kill him, kill him. Yeah. Kill Suki and Yaki. Ha uh ha. -huh. Nice, and you'll notice there's a legendary drop. Um, so each of the bosses is going to drop um, Realm Lift Supply Chain Social Chests. Um, so it's, it's very similar to how it used to be back in the day. Um, you know, the first two chests drop from Sashimi, the second two drops uh, from the second boss, the, uh, from the Chef, the third drop, the... <laughs> third and fourth from the Chef, fifth and sixth from Oxoba, <laughs> seventh and eighth from Poharan, and those are correspond to the number of the Soul Shields in there. So. She was able to get. Oh wait. What happened? He expired. Oh wait, no, she no, got. No, I it. got it. So she got. Uh, uh, I the, pressed got yes. Chest number one. Yes, yeah, on the left there. Okay. Um, so you can, you can see it has a chance to give you fallen ivory beluga or raven soul shields. Um, 
Yeah, it does not. It does not give you um, socials from for Grand Celestial. You can get those in Nightfall Sanctuary or in Midnight Sky Pedal Pines. Um, so you'll be able to get. So don't worry. This this event has rewards for all tiers of player. Yep. Um, this is just one of the ways that you can uh, either on your main or on alt you can get some of the um, you know older but still relevant soul shields. Alrighty. Shall we yeah. continue? Yes, let's continue. Yeah. And it's, yeah, as Bethany mentioned as well, uh, Tay Jengum and Poharan also have a chance to drop their pets, so you definitely want to. Maybe we'll try have stream that. luck. That'd be crazy. That would be yeah, awesome. Yeah, just, just go to Nightfall Sanctuary, just stroll in. <laughs> just grab 11 of your friends, <laughs> grab some soda, I don't know, and just get in there. <laughs> All right. Then you just fly over here. Yeah, and while we're doing this, I can kind of talk about some of the other rewards, um, obviously. For some people, you've already seen this dungeon. For some people, it could look, mm -hmm. be brand new to you. But obviously, it's, it's going to take a little bit to clear it. Um, so, so um, I guess you can probably switch over to my screen while Bethany's clearing. Sorry, Bethany. It's fine. Okay. Um, I don't want to accidentally fall. Anyways. Yeah, I'm gonna. The go pressure. Ahead. Well, I don't have air dash. I think on this character, you so don't I'm just <laughs> very, 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 very slow. So, um, one of the biggest rewards that you guys saw, uh, I can actually just go through Dragon Express first. Um, so, one of the, the event token is actually Lovestruck coin. So as you can see, um, there's a section in Dragon Express for that. Um, um, whole bunch of old costumes and also bringing in new costumes. So there's some love struck coins um, that you get from there. There's also additional methods that we'll talk about later, including Hongsil's Workshop. Uh, as you can see, we have a lot of costumes returning, including Dark Angel. There's a lot here. I don't know if I have time to go through all of them. Um, White Angel. Uh, I should take off my mask. A lot of people were asking for White Angel to come back, so here is... Here it is. Yes. I don't know if Dark Angel ever came. So. Or White Angel, I think, was the first. This is the first time White Angel is. Dark Angel came. Yeah, so this is, this is coming. Yeah, Dark Angel. Um, we, have, we have the return of... Uh, yeah, it's never been. Sorry. Yes. This is also stays the same on female and male. So. Yes. It looks awesome. I'm so excited to see all the boys in their angel <laughs> Yes. Yeah, I think White Angel's new. I think you're right about that. Yeah, He's White Angel's new. Black uh, Dark Angel isn't. I think we, we teased it a little early because we had it in the uh, the first anniversary the first screenshots. Anniversary, uh, yeah. A banner. Yeah. But we, we knew it was coming. Uh, Showgirls returning along with Bunny Fluff Tail. As you can see, it's, it goes there. It adds the tail and all the cu also the cuffs. Uh, we also have the male version showman. I think that's their first time t for the male version. I think. I like this event. It's like wear what you want. Do yeah, you. this is you do just you. this is so progressive. Yes, I like it. You can identify Sorry, as whatever you lots. want. Yeah, there's a lot, so I'm trying to go. That's, no, that's go fine. You don't even need to go through. Sorry. I think they all look oh, wait, the same on the, all races. Yeah, and then we also have the male one, heart surgeon oh, and cap. Valentine's Day. It's Blaine Sylvie. You do what you want. You do you. <laughs> all the cap of prides. <laughs> exactly. We also have some new costumes, um, Celestial. So this costume is female only. This is gonna be the first time it's gonna be available. Um, thanks, Bethany, by the way. No, it's fine. Um, to you. So it's gonna have We've seen this already. the new one. Also gonna, and then we also have a male only costume. So lots of um, gender specific costumes here. Um, yeah, be but careful definitely when you lots of, yeah, be careful when you purchase, but, also, but definitely lots of. Uh, Choices here. So many choices. We have a wild one here from the male. Thick. They all said thick. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. How does. What is this? His shirt is like all ripped up, dude. What's going on? This guy's like. Dude. Got in a street brawl ripped and put on like ripped a. Ripped up shirts are the best. He like. Intention. Got into a fight and then put on like a nice jacket over so people wouldn't notice. I like ripped up shirts. <laughs> Stop judging. All right, I shouldn't judge. I'm sorry. I wear ripped up shirts all the time. <laughs> I was wearing a ripped up shirt yesterday. <laughs> um, so those are the new costumes. You can also purchase the Roma, Soju, and Kalonju, as I mentioned before. These are for 10 silver. You also get them a pretty good supply just from doing uh, the daily. But yep. these are gonna give you, you see attack power and critical right here. And this one's gonna give you um, resist, for, resist and also recovery. Um, and these also have, both have a one minute cooldown. So um, some other items from here, Sacred Vial. Uh, pet pack, 
We also have um, Hongmin Heptagonal Gem Ticket. Uh, instead of having all the gems in there, you actually get a ticket now and you can exchange it on the other uh, uh, tab here on the bottom. That's based on your guys' feedback, by the way. So There you go. Yeah. Another thing. You guys, we've been doing three of the same gems, you know, I've, you know the rotation. So yeah. This gem ticket should help out uh, your choices, your choice selections. So. That's right, and you can see... Um, they all, said thanks. <laughs> yes. Emerald, Emerald and Amber is also included, so you have the whole set, that. except for Garnet or Obsidian, but that's to yeah. be expected. That makes sense, yeah. Um, yeah, so you can choose whatever you want there with that ticket. You can also um, get um, some upgrade materials. Um, you guys should be pretty familiar with most of this stuff. Um, obviously, one of the most you guys have probably been looking at for a while, there is the Heart Nebula Stone. So, um, as you guys, if you guys aren't familiar with Nebula Stones yet, um, oh, Bethany's ready to fight. Should we fight first, or should we show the Heart Nebula you Stone? You can heart first? this. You can do the Heart Nebula Stone. Okay. Just so Nebula it. Stones yeah. um, are something that we've introduced a couple times. We've done for weapons, yep. um, primarily, but uh, this time we're doing it for the Heart slot. Um, so, what Nebula Stones do is it replace, it takes the place of your offering and then discounts that upgrade. So. Um, some good news, heart, uh, can be the, ne the heart nebula stone can be used for every single stage all Yay. the way to true virtuous heart. So from all the way from the t bottom to the top. Um, so for example, let's say I think I have a Hongmin heart stage one, you have it here. Um, the regular uh, cost is going to be you know, your 15 blackstone fragments uh, and then your 35, 10, 25 and 6 of the materials here. If you have a nebula stone. Um, you go ahead and switch over to that one, you'll see that uh, you'll still have to use the black stones fragments. However, you only need three moonstone crystals and three elysian crystals. So a pretty dramatic um, change. I probably wouldn't use it on the lowest yeah. stages, right? You probably want to get up as high as you can until you uh, use it as high as possible for the expensive stages. Yeah. Um, but I don't know, let's go to like something up here. Preview that. You have the Awakened Virtuous Heart. Uh, obviously going to be a pretty expensive upgrade being the, the, the final upgrade for the heart. Um, as you can see here, um, good. Um, you have the six circuit vials, you have the uh, silver scales and the materials. Uh, you're going to need more, uh, sorry, should, should clarify you're going to need more of the nebula stones, you need ten of them in this one, but um, for example that completely eliminates the need for sacred vial and then it, it makes the, oh I'm sorry, it doesn't. No, it, it makes sacred vial down from six to five, my bad. I was and, like, but oh. uh, the materials are reduced <laughs> quite a lot, but yeah you need more hearts for like the upper, the upper upgrades. But um, if you're like in the middle, I th it's like for example here, uh, this one requires eight. Um, but you're able to get multiple of them from the event. Yep. Um, you can get them from the RNG boxes you get in the event. Yep. Then you can get it from the Dragon Express for eight token uh, love struck coins. Yes, you can also get it from Hongsol's workshop. And Hongsol's workshop, yeah, they're yeah. they're pretty so available. There's, there's multiple sources, so you should be able to get enough for your upgrade. And then now I'm going to teleport to Bethany. So you can actually switch to her screen and we're going to fight the second boss. Uh, which, of course, is Chef Chef Jingum. Jingum. Yep. Our beloved Chef. Maybe she'll drop her pet. Maybe she won't. That'd be it's some a small crazy drop. Stream it's a small drop, so. Yeah. But we shall see. Do it. Do it. Insta kill. Damn, that was Mew. That wasn't even me. Oh, it was Mew? That's awesome. Good job, Mew. No pet. No. But she dropped her chest four. So. Oh, in fact, you can have it. Yeah, so like, as I mentioned before, she has a chance to drop chest three or four. It's a 50-50 chance for either one. So, um, hopefully it drops one you need. <laughs> Nerf DPS. <laughs> yeah, that was some... some if you're just joining, we Literal are on GM there. characters, so that is why we are using GM commands to kill things fast. Yes. I don't think they want to sit there and watch us two man it with... No, that would take forever. That would take a long time. <laughs> uh, can we go more than one time daily in this dungeon? In this instance, asks X Heaven Guard. Yes. So, obviously, the daily quest that gives you the Wormuth Raven or queen or celestial chest, you can only do that once, but you can run this multiple times a day. That means you can get more of the drops from the from the bosses, you can get more of the uh, soul shields, and then also I think the biggest one that you're going to want to do is the, um, well for one, is the dynamic quest, which gives you two uh, legendary gem hammers every time, which is really awesome. 
and also for the Merchant of Wonders for defeating Paharn, which is a 100% uh, drop rate. Also, I believe the dev team uh, looked at feedback from the last time this dungeon was run, mm -hmm. and uh, I think one of the feedback we got was that it was, well, a lot of players liked the challenge. It was maybe a little, a little bit, slightly too, too difficult. Challenge. Yeah. So I think they it just... took a long time. Yeah. And so they did um, listen to your guys' feedback for this time around to try to lower the difficulty a bit. Yeah, it's just lowered by just a little bit. It's, I, I know a lot of you guys still enjoy the challenge, so it's mm -hmm. not like we nerfed into the ground or something. But, um, you know, it's, it's definitely a, a slightly easier and more accessible. Yeah, because it is from F8, so you want to help out the <laughs> random pickup groups. Yeah. Is it that one? It's the one after the dolls kill. Oh, okay. kill all the dudes. Alright. Alright, so now we're on Moxobo, the third boss. Um, don't stand on the fire. Don't stand on fire, yes. Pro tips, three years later. <laughs> All right, so we're almost done here, um, heading into the last section, and then we'll show off. We'll see what we get from our Merchant of Wonders. So, um, some pretty great stuff that can drop from the Merchant of Wonders. Um, the cosmetics. Right. Um, there's the Poharan set, the custom gangplank hair style. There's the Moxobos outfit, the Black Ram General's outfit, um, yep. Poharan pet, Te Jengum pet. Yep. Uh, Sacred, vi sacred vials, right, and all that. Sacred vials, you know, pure temptation stone, divine grace stones. Um, yeah, like all, yeah, all. As you mentioned, it has all three of the game plank styles. Yeah. Uh, hair, so it's going to be the the regular one, the red one, and the custom one that matches your natural hair color. Mm -hmm. So, um, definitely pretty cool that those are all going to be available. Yes, merchants guaranteed. Merchant is 100% guaranteed. Oh, yeah. And also, even though we're, we're GMs, by the way, um, our stats are still normalized, so we're yeah. still doing it like two regular people. We're obviously invincible, but... Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm way behind. I'm sorry. It's cool. I just shed a dagger on them, so they should be down. Okay. There we go. Um, and, of course, Poe. One of the most awesome characters in the game. Yep. Um, most notable. We're, no, we're going to use GM commands again. Sorry, yep. guys. So, so you have to use these fans. You have to, you know... Look up how to do Realm Rift Supply Chain again. Uh, she went behind you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good job. And Merchant spawned over there. Let's check the loot yeah. first. I'll check loot. All right, so we got piece number seven there. Seven. And we also got the spawn here in the back. So he's going to spawn in the back over here. And then let's see what we got. All right, stream luck. Come on, let's luck. go. We got. You also have this chest, gold chest, for 15 gold. Yep. So you do have a risk to lose 5 gold on this chest. Hive Queen's Heart, Grand Celestial Wings, there you go. So this is one of the pages you can get from him. No stream luck today. Yeah, Not so this is like, you know, obviously there's going to be a range of different pages. Oh mm -hmm. my god, you have 9,000 Grand Celestial Wings. Um, so <laughs> basically, um, there's going to be a whole different range of stuff you can get. Obviously some pages are more rare than others, mm -hmm. obviously. Um, but, you know, it's going to be... Either way, you should be able to get some good stuff. You can get some Grand Slice to, like, I would probably buy the Grand Slice to wings yeah. here. Um, if you're still working on your high queen weapons, stuff like that. Or you can, yeah, get the chest and gamble it. I think okay. people want. You want me to gamble? All right. I don't know. Our stream luck so, so far, far has bad. not been good. All right, so that was... I'm expecting cost 10 gold. 15 gold. Yeah. I'm expecting 10 gold. There's no way we can... Yeah. Oh, look, you got 5,000. <laughs> <laughs> look, you got 5,000. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, so it's, a, you know, it's, it's just like, it's like a chest to try and um, test your luck, see if you can get yeah. um, the big prize. I've definitely seen people in my party get the 5,000 before. I so. want 5,000. <laughs> so yes. turning in the other Poron will give you hidden promises, two of these hidden promises chests, and two legendary hammers. Yeah, that's really awesome. It gives you two legendary hammers every single time. Yeah, every single time you defeat Poron, you'll get that. All right, so. so you see Bethany still needs two more. She needs, she still has two gem slots to go. She needs 44 <laughs> gem hammer. So if she runs this 22 times over the, um, I'm sorry, I didn't, we didn't mention the event duration. It actually runs until oh, yeah. March 13th. So you have five weeks there. Um, so um, pretty easy to run it 21 times in there and that's guaranteed your slots are open. Boom. <laughs> so, um, 
grabbed yeah. the realm of celestial chest, so I'm just gonna risk it. Let's risk it. Yeah, some so of the other rewards means. I think in the mer merchant and potential ones are octagonal gems are in oh, there. Yeah, that's good. Amethyst, ruby, citrine, sapphire, peridot, and so yeah, you guys can check that out definitely um, now. So that that's realm of supply chain. Um, hope you guys clear it. If you guys any, any sort of like guides that are written up for the last time, they should still be applicable. Yeah. The, the mechanics didn't really, didn't change or anything. It's just um, a little bit more tweaking to make it slightly easier. All right. So we do uh, tomatana salt. Yes, let's do it. So right. we're gonna switch over to Hongso's workshop. Uh, Did you want to take us back to the yeah, dungeon finder? Yeah, let's do. It. Or should we just go to Jade Stone? Just, just run, just run outside. Okay. So you can enter this one through Jade Stone or F8. So yep. we're already in F8. So we're just gonna hop on a switch over to Hongso's workshop. Yep. <laughs> um, so as I mentioned, the main event currency is Left Truck Coin. Um, I mentioned before you can get that from. Uh, go back. Sorry. I know. I was like, why are we taking this portal? Um, brain. You get it from That's doing Roman supply chain. You get it from doing uh, Hong Sil's workshop, which we're showing right now. But you also can get it from doing raid dynamic quests. Um, so that includes Dawn of Kondavihar, Fallen Aransu School, Snow Jade Fortress, Hall of the Keeper, and Hall of the Templar are going to reward you from between one to three love strike coins. So you're able to get those weekly. Okay, you get one to three. One to three, based oh, on okay. which one it is. It's a fixed. It's a fixed one. Fixed, one. fixed amount per, but. Uh, I guess I can just say it right now. Hall of the Keeper and Templar, you get one, you get two for Dawn of Kahan Vihar, and you get three for Snow Jade Fortress and Fallen Aransu School. So um, when you're doing your weekly uh, raids, wow, my stomach just growled, um, <laughs> you, you'll really get some more left right coin. Lots of left And strikes. I already showed those rewards. Yeah, we did. All right. Going to Hong workshop, of course. She's at it again. Her automatons are going crazy. Yeah, they need to take away her license, dude. <laughs> yeah, she needs to stop being Chills. into robotics. Like Making all kinds of dangerous shit. And we always have to help her out. So. Uh, for the, once again, Unreal Engine 4, so you guys can stop asking, is uh, <laughs> scheduled for this year. It's been that way since the producer's letter, and that's still the schedule. It's still confirmed. <laughs> it's just not, it's not ready yet. I think, um, I, I mean, Korea is going to get it first, so I think an appropriate time to start asking is once Korea once has Korea it. Once Korea has it, yeah. I so guess that's a, that's, a, that's a good tip. It's not going to be before Korea. <laughs> that would be weird, right? <laughs> I want them to test it first. Um, so you get the Automaton Assault quest, of course, from the quest journal, so grab that before you enter. Try to not forget before you kill Princess Blood Bloodlust. Yes, remember your dailies. Yeah, remember your dailies. Uh. <laughs> There's now they're trolling and asking. That's fine. Handle Justin it. can just ban the word awakening. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So wait yeah. for oh you're already in. I am. I should just teleported to you. Um, yeah, so I'm inside now. Um, this one's returning as well. You guys remember last time, uh, Hong Sil's. Whoa. Uh, one of her inventions gone crazy. Again, just reckless. Uh, it is Princess Budlust, a giant pink death robot. It's gone crazy, so you gotta help her suppress it. At least she's decorated with a bow. Yes, so that she's cute while she murders you. Yes, very cute. So, yes. So, <clears throat> we will show you the mechanics here, right? Yeah, yeah let's jump yeah. in. We'll, we'll do like some basic mechanics yep. and then we'll kill it because you know yeah. you don't want to see us kill us too many first so so <coughs> yep usual avoid her stuff attack her until she spawns presence yeah so you'll see for after a while your your abilities are not gonna do any more damage yep. like right now like yep she gets a shield now can't really use your weapon anymore grab a gun and then shoot yeah, so, f so your one is going to be your shield, yep, you shield and then your one. left click is going to be your um, regular attack. You're going to want to avoid these orbs, which no longer Yeah, look at it. You. Look, at the, look at the lag. There's, this used to be pretty intense lag. By the way, the, how it looks on stream right now is actually a little bit slower, th uh, different than how it looks on Bethany and my stream. Like, I'm not lagging at all, by the way. Oh, you're not? So, no, yeah. zero. 
So, and then when you grab these green ones, it gives you an extra ability or two ability, and then you can shoot uh, a, a blue beam of counter death. I don't know. Yeah, it's actually like I'm looking at Bethy's screen, it's not lagging at all. So I just want to make sure you guys know that it is fixed. You can switch to mine if you want. Mine's not lagging. <laughs> yeah, you can switch to his. Maybe it's my computer. Get out of that. Shoot the beam. They're about to die. Gotta Better. kill these drills. Yes, the drills will explode and slow you, so you want to yep. make sure that you kill oh. them. But and I'm gonna go ahead and actually just kill finish this fight yeah. right now. Oh right. Switch back to Bethany's screen and then I'll kill it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Secret, You're doing great. Hacks. You're doing great. Making you work. Alright. And the shield is down, so you can, can you can start attacking again normally. Alright. Bam. Bye. Um, All right. So that's uh, the quest there. You can just show it off to the dynamic yep. and the daily quest. So that's the daily. There's the daily. You get Princess Bloodlust Valentine box. You have three guaranteed love struck coins and. With a chance at more. Chance of more. Yeah, down at the bot in the middle, you can see there's a chance <laughs> at more. <laughs> and yeah, here's a quick look. More nebula stones to collect. Yep, Premium transformation stone, stone drops in here. Yeah, and and also the here's the dynamic. dynamic. You get some lucky dumplings. XP. A lot of XP. Yeah, the Very cannonballs generous. aren't coming back now. But I mean, um, you'll be able to get the left of coins from both sources. Um, tons of cosmetics. Uh, we should, if you want to just pop it open yeah. right now, because I'll just be I'll just open talking box. anyway. Um, you know, tons of cosmetics are coming back um, and also being available Oops. for the first time. We're also Sorry, going to, um, you know, also have the a chance of the hard nebula stone. You also have, um, you know, obviously the, the 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 regular stuff like gem, sacred vial, and all that good stuff. So, uh, yeah, you don't get a lot of XP from this one. You get XP from There's the Poe dungeon warehouse. for yeah. Roman supply chain gives you 300k that gives you a for lot daily. Of so that's actually a good chunk. Um, so, yeah, that kind of wraps up Blade and Soul, Nate, 2019. That's yep. our latest iteration. <laughs> uh, lots of different cosmetics. Um, lots of time to, to dress up however you want, male or female, <laughs> whatever you like. You do um, you, boo. Yes, exactly. Um, uh, and before we move on to store updates, got a couple of quick updates uh, on some you know small systems and item changes. There's not very many this time around. Um, we're saving them for the next big patch. Wink, wink. <laughs> um, some of the stuff that we're changing, though, if you switch over to my screen, um, crap. Maybe maybe not. Oh, I guess we can. I just don't want to, if I open it then... Um, some of the changes that we're doing, so you'll notice that um, the elixir pouch is... Um, I think we've gotten this through a lot of sources back in the past, uh, before. We've done it through bundles, we've done it through events and stuff like that. It's not called excellent elixir pouch. And what that, that means is the effects have been updated. Um, I will show the tooltips. So you can see here um, it's going to give you, it's gonna, each of them has been upgraded a bit. Um, you don't have to do anything to, for this to happen. It automatically um, is going to update your existing elixirs. So hopefully you held on to them. As you can see now, this one, the, the, the attack one is now 50 boss attack power, 20% critical damage. The protection is 1,000 boss defense, 50% threat, and also 30% damage reduction. So hopefully you guys have been holding on those for raids. Um, that should give you a little bit of a buff now. That doesn't. Um, doesn't require you to do anything. You don't have to antique it or anything. We're literally okay. just changing the effect of the item like and the name. It's already in your inventory. You're good to go. There you go. Um, some other stuff we're doing. Um, uh, locked Amon weapon. Sorry, locked Amon weapon. Zonus weapon, mechanized weapon, Dark Vakar weapon. Um, those ones are getting updated. I don't have them in my inventory, sorry, to not require uh, keys or brilliant keys. You just open it now. It's just going to be like a sealed weapon and you open it and you'll get your class's weapon. So a little bit easier there to get those weapons if you're still working on your um, uh, weapon upgrades. And then lastly, a couple of items are going to be um, marked to be expiring and we no longer use after March 13th, so just as a heads up so you're not confused. Um, Black Rose Feather, Freezing Orb, White Orb, Demon Spirit Stone, Heaven's Mandate Reset, Cold Storage Meat Reset. Obviously there's going to be some changes coming up to those, those, uh, those dungeons, Cold Storage and Heaven's Mandate. Um, so we're going to phase out those items in the next patch. So if you have those items in the inventory, you're going to see they're going to expire. 
Um, so that's why. But more information on that later. <laughs> All right, let's All move right. on to the store update. Store updates. All right, so as we mentioned earlier in the stream, we have a new costume RNG box coming out on the 6th. Um, so I will show you. Uh, you were donning it earlier, yes. the black tortoise. Out, um, it's called Ninja Tortoise. Ninja Tortoise, yes. Yeah, Ninja Tortoise set. Right um, so, yes, this is a you know, dev build, so not everything's finalized. But yep. um, So, this is the new outfit chest. If, um, if you guys are should be aware of it, it's outfit chest, tons of outfits. Once you get the outfits in there, you salvage them for the essences. And this is what you trade into the Dragon Express for other outfits that you would rather have. Um, so, let's. So the new outfits in this chest is the Black Tortoise, aka Ninja Tortoise set. It is a premium outfit. It has the wings that you had, the back yeah. piece. It has a matching pet. It has a matching weapon skin. There you go. Yeah, you want to see on his screen? Me, yeah, I was wearing it when we when we first launched yeah. in, but or sorry, you're switching in. a lot. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Um, here's the outfit um, on my yeah. character, which is obviously so a gone. That's what the full set looks like. So you can see uh, a lot of effects. Uh, you also have the, this. This. Oh, I turned around. But like, so this is really really cool. Hopefully you guys can see that. That's kind of like a fancy Evan Drake wheel. Kind yeah, of thing going exactly. On here. Yeah, it's so really, really glimmery. We also have the uh, the pet here. The snake is attacking the poor turtle for the rest of his life. <laughs> I find and I it. Just merge him with my axe. <laughs> yeah. I feel really bad for the tor turtle tortoise. But it, it also it's also uh, <laughs> on the um, on the axe itself. So I'll I'll show a little bit more about that in a second. But first, I'm gonna show off the emote. Oh yeah, there's an emote. So for the, the emote full set. is slash turtle power. Slash turtle power. And that's the email right there. You can do it once you have all three parts of the set. Um, the, 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 the regular, the, the outfit itself, the hairband and the ornament. I wonder if I can do it. Slash turtle power. Yes. Pretty cool emote. Very, very flashy. This is the full set. I can show off some of the other um, I like that. Classes, I think it looks fancy. Or not classes, sexes, and races. Definitely a really cool costume. Very ornate. Very yeah. deep V. This, uh, the effect doesn't show in the episode. Yeah, it's not showing. <laughs> uh, that bushy tail gets in the way of everything. Yeah, it does. The Lynn male on here should probably have a different tail. Yeah. Have a cat tail or something. I like the face mask too. It's yeah, it's cool. got a face mask. So yeah, this is the new. This is like the the star of the show, I'd say, for the new um, outfit box. But as you, mm -hmm. I saw on Bethany's screen, if you switch back over there, there's a lot of stuff in that uh, box. Yeah, there's a lot of returning costumes. Um, Imperium, Formosa, Field Day, I believe, is new and customizable. Um, Dazzle, Cortisons back, Cold Comfort. Wintertide, True Friend, Snapdragon, Outlander Coat, Midnight Detective, so, and Auspicious. So, um, also inside is the Black Tortoise's Blessing, and that is this box that you can sell on the marketplace. Um, it has the full set, so, yep. if you want to sell that instead of use it, um, so yeah. So you will salvage um, these costumes for that essence, like I mentioned, and here is what you can use with it. So you can buy the black tortoise set. If you're very unlucky and you don't get the black tortoise set through opening the box, you can get the full set through here with the essences. Yep. But this is also where you get the black tortoise pets. And there's also a cat, a familiar outfit. Make oh, yeah. It. Look at those. I like the shorts. Dang. <laughs> That's not what I was looking at. I know, I'm just teasing. <laughs> Legs. This is like a Lynn, Lynn male shorts. But um, yeah, so your cat can look like a spoopy with his rubber gloves, black tortoise. He even has a deep V. Dang, <laughs> carrying it That's over. Why? <laughs> and um, oh, I didn't show the the tail piece. I like the tail piece. I got a snake crawling up it. Um, <laughs> and then the weapon boxes. Here's all what, what all the weapons look like. Um, here's the staff, sword, sword, gauntlets. It's like crystal and gold. 
bangle, you already showed yeah. the axe off. Best one. Dagger, best one, bias. Axe and greatsword. Mm-hmm. Gun. Yeah, they're actually really, they're really cool. Dang. I think. It's pretty intense. All right. That is all of the weapons. Here's what field day looks like. It's customizable, just like Black Tortoise is customizable. Oh, that's right, that's right. Black Tortoise is customizable. Take off this stuff. All right, here's field day. You know, go to the gym. Go to your school gym. PE time. Yeah, definitely <laughs> some athletics time going on. Yeah. If you're from there you go. Asia. <laughs> if you're from Asia. I might show it all <laughs> off on all the characters because it looks the same. Yeah. But here's Cortezon's back. I'll show it on a bigger character. It's Nam So Yu's yeah. outfit. Um, Outlander coat. Get rid of the hair. Yeah, Got another coat. Match. Yeah, it's not matching. Imperium's back. Here's on males. Reminds me of Howl's Moving Castle for some reason. That looks great on males. Yeah, I like it a lot on, the, on males. All right, and on females. Okay. Auspicious. <laughs> like the comments. The comments? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I just enjoy the... I like the comments during the, the costume part. Some people are excited. Some people want the police to be called. <laughs> <laughs> she loses all pants, but that's okay. So that's what it looks like. It looks different on everybody. And then male... Ooh, hammer pants. Yeah, I open it. <laughs> so that's back. Wintertide's back. Yes. Oh, the hair costume. doesn't go with it, but yeah. That's what it looks like on all right, everybody. Yeah, and a lot of different stuff. Formosa makes a comeback as well. Yes. <clears throat> and on males. That's right. So. Native Taiwanese outfit. Yep. All right. And last but not least, the designer. You guys can look at these inside the game yeah, those as are well. Live. Yeah. Most of these were I probably didn't even need to go through them all, but yeah. yeah. So also designer thread still here, so for your excess, if you want to try to get the older costume RNG boxes from the um, the, the clothing, clothing merchant. merchants, right? Yeah. yeah, the clothing merchants, you can also do that during this time. So you can get the um, the rose yeah, Rose Thorn, Rose Thorn, the older ones. Yep. Um, Saber Fang. Saber Fang, that's right, Silver Saber Fang. So yeah, those are yeah. on the Merchant, uh, the clothing merchant. Clothing like this one in Lindria, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's there's definitely, um, I mean, already on top of all the cosmetics that are coming <laughs> back from Black Room Supply Chain in Realm Rift, and yep. as well as, as all the, the costumes from the event and all the costumes in this. I think I think I, every year we've done, like, Blade and Soulmate's all about fashion. Yeah. I think we've had tons of costumes That's every true. year, and, so, and, and like you know, we get to have a lot of fun with the, a lot of costumes. So, um, hopefully, you guys. I, there's got to be a couple you like out of all of those. Yeah, right? so. I hope. I really <laughs> hope. <laughs> yeah. Urban there's, there's, legend. Sorry, yeah. urban legend should be on the clothing merchant by now, right? Uh, I'm gonna go and double check just so I don't. That's a good question. I haven't checked the clothing merchant for this I'm time around. I'm gonna have to go run to it. But, okay. Um, we'll we'll, we'll figure you. that out while we keep yeah. going. Okay. Um, but like some of their stuff is. Um, there's also going to be a new costume uh, for this year, 2019's Blaine's Soulmate yep. slash Valentine's Day, um, but we uh, we can't show it right now. Yep. So it's going to be a surprise <laughs> a little bit. We're going to show. We're going to have that posted uh, to live next week. Oops, I almost quit the game. It's also customizable too. Yeah. So that's going to be that's going to be uh, just keep up an eye out for the news uh, news post, and it's also going to go live with the build on the sixth. But we can't show it. Sorry. Yeah. It should be in the. Um the we, store update page as well is live with you guys. So. Yes. Some of you may already know, but uh. <laughs> yes. And let's see. Oh, the others. I don't have the. We also are upgrading the raid bundle and gem packages. Yeah, I have them. Yeah, I just I'll need have. To tell her real quick. Once he checks the clothing merchant, I'll have him go over those as well because I did not summon those. But in the meantime, um, the Super Bowl is coming up. So we are going to be putting Gridiron back on the store for those of you who want to be <laughs> ready for the festive season of Super Bowl. That's right. Um, so this will be back if you want to get your football outfits ready 
You It'll be available it. from this week, from Friday for two weeks. You guys can wear it while you watch the Rams lose. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> shots fired. <laughs> so that will be back. Uh, and almost there. You're almost there. Let's see. Yeah, I just want. I want. Just want to make sure. That the, uh, the golf. Sorry. Well, you guys I are just. I want to check what's on the Clay Merchant. Okay. A lot of people are asking about the Blowfish pet. Um, we do have that in a pet rotation soon, at some point. It is coming. I can't tell you when. I can't tell you if it's the next one. I can't tell you which one it is. But it'll it is be on sold. The way, yeah. Yeah, it's on the list of to be sold in a pet pouch. So blowfish will be coming. Um, let's see. Um, so just wanted to just oh. double check the uh, designer threads um, on the merchant. You can buy Silver Saber Thing, Rose Thorn. Favorite fantasy or urban legend sets. So okay. You've got you've got this the selection there. Just wanted to make sure that they there were there. Thank confirmed. You. Confirmed. Um, and then did you want to? Oh yeah, we can go to his screen anyways because he has the raid bundle and gem packages. And yeah. So yeah, pretty standard to what we've done before as far as the raid bundles go. The first one's going to be the uh, Emperor's Tomb bundle, which is a 2800 end coin or Hamun coin. It's going to come with 10 Emperor's Tomb resets, 20 Grand Celestial Wings. Three excellent elixir pouches. I opened one to show off the elixirs. <laughs> uh, five raid revival charms, three imperial soju, and grand, five grand sets of steel. The Aransu school set is going to give you 15 Aransu resets, three excellent elixir pouches, 20 hive queen wings, five raid revival charms, and five hive queen's hearts. So pretty standard before. That one cost 960 end coin or homeland coin. Mm -hmm. Pretty standard before. These are purchasable uh, from for three weeks from the 6th until the 27th of February, and you can purchase one per week for a total of three max. Uh, the other bundle we're offering now, uh, we've been doing it for a while, we've been doing the, the Hong Moon Gem packages. Um, we're going to be switching it up a little bit this time because we now have the ticket. Yeah, the ticket's so, so helpful. It's going to be the Hong Moon Heptagonal Gem package or bundle, I'm not sure which one we call it. It's going to be 680 end coin and you get the same gem ticket as you get from the event. So therefore you can um, pick whichever one you want. There is no limit to purchase, so you can purchase as many as you want. Um, you also get 25 Hongwen Gem Powder, 3 Sealed Legendary Gem Hammer, 10 Dokebi Soju, and 3 Clarity Charms, and 1 Silence. Oh wait, Silence Maze Key is actually with the Aransu set. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so those are all going to be posted as well on the website along with... So keep an eye out for that article. It's going to come out. It's going to explain um, the Ninja Tortoise set that Bethany sent before. It's also going to explain um, the bundles I just showed there. It's also going to have the new 2019 outfit. So uh, look for that next week, I believe. Um, and uh, we'll also be posting patch notes for the entire update uh, on Tuesday as well. Did you want, to, uh, what are the prices of the raid bundles? The price of the raid bundle is 2800 for the Emperor's Tomb and 960 for the Aransu. Okay. Yeah, so hopefully there. you guys got that. I've people asking that. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> that? Is that, yeah. Is that everything? Yeah, I just wanted to make sure, yeah, <laughs> I think we got most of the questions. Um, already told you guys about Unreal Engine 4. I know you guys are very, very exciting for, excited for you know, a certain patch that's coming. I promise you it is coming. I promise you it is soon. <laughs> um, it's just, you know, we have to, um, you know, get you guys all the information. We have to make sure you guys um, are fully prepped, fully ready for it. And um, I don't need to clean my inventory. My inventory is fine. <laughs> my inventory on live is worse than that. <laughs> all right, so. Yes. Prince yeah. of Darkness update goes live next week on the 6th, so hope, hopefully you guys are excited for that. Gotta say excited before we leave. Yeah. And I only said it twice this stream. I think I it's a new look for think, me. I think I, I did more than you this time, so <laughs> you're doing good. Yeah. I'm weaning myself <laughs> off of it. All right. Yeah. So. Yeah, follow us on everything yep. for all the news, news updates, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, here. Um, make sure to check bladensoul.com for our, the... the the upcoming overview, yeah. uh, the event already, which is live, mm -hmm. and more information coming over the next yep. week. Patch notes um, Tuesday. Yeah. And yeah. Big stuff coming up. You have until next week to, to enter for Blade and Souls. The shoes. The, sho the so, shoes. The shoes. <laughs> the shoes. <laughs> Boom. That, that, was, that, on was, it. that was my hand <laughs> signal to turn that on. It wasn't really. I was like tracing a shoe <laughs> with my fingers. I don't know why. Um, thank you for that, Kyle. <laughs> um, but yes. So, yeah, thank you thank guys you. for tuning in with us. This was a lot of fun. Yeah. And hopefully you guys enjoyed all the costumes and the new dungeon and what else is to come next week. So hopefully we'll see you guys in-game next week and see you next time. Bye, guys. Excited. <laughs> <laughs>
like and share if you enjoyed the video and think others might benefit from this. And of course, subscribe and hit the notification button if you are new to the channel and want to be notified every time I post a video.